Hi, what's up, guys? Welcome to Yang Family in your YouTube channel. Today is August 9th, 2024. In today's video, I'm going to share with you my new collection of fruit tree, Ni Jujubi. Stay tuned. Okay, guys, let's take a look at this Ni Jujubi fruit tree. I purchased this tree about one month ago on July 10th in Home Depot Garden Center. The tree size is about over six feet tall. Okay, first let's take a look at the label on this part. So basically, they mentioned this is Ni Jujube fruit tree from Home Depot. The price is about $50. To be honest, I'm very satisfied with this price. You know, the price for Jujube fruit tree is pretty expensive. I once checked out the price early this year in some other nurseries. The price is kind of $80 for the similar size. So the price for jujube fruit tree is way more expensive than this one. To be honest, this price is pretty reasonable. So I just want to mention you two other things. One, this is three to four gallon size container. And here, check out right here, May 27, 2024, they put this label on this pot. That means this fruit tree, I think that day, they just dig it out from the ground and repot into this pot. So basically, actually, just over one month after they dig out and planted in this container, I purchased this tree. I think at that time, this tree was not established in this pot. Okay, let's take a look at the soil. I just grabbed, you know, a handful of soil. You can see it's kind of like a small wood chips with some sand. To be honest, actually, this is good for this, you know, jujube fruit tree because jujube fruit tree prefer to grow in well-drained soil. So here you can see I put some like a drop, you know, the small jujube fruits on the top of this soil. And here you can see it's kind of like a sucker. I think it's kind of like a jujube fruit, you know, the sprouts might be from the bottom. You can see here, this is grafted jujube fruit tree. So this is supposed to be rootstock. This is a sign grafted on the, this rootstock. So this is a supposed to be sucker, but I don't want to remove it probably later when I report this be fruit tree to another bigger container. I'm going to check out this one. So this is just a general, you know, the label for fruit tree. Doesn't mean anything. Okay, let's move to the top part right here. You can see this branch is kind of like a zigzag structure. So I would rather take a look at this, you know, the plant tag. It might give us some information about this, you know, Li Jujube fruit tree. So, okay, here, for some, so to be honest, jujube fruit tree like to, you know, grow in a sunny spot. So basically, that's why I put this, you know, fruit tree in a sunny spot. They really like, like, for some. Okay, they mentioned that this is Chinese jujube li. The variety is li jujube. So here, this is 15 to 25 feet tall. So I think this is a standard size, you know, the jujube fruit tree is not semi-dwarf or dwarf and uh, drought tolerant. That's why you can see, I just mentioned to you, you know, the, the soil is pretty dry. So easy to grow, to be honest, this kind of fruit tree is very easy to grow. It is drought tolerant. It is also pest and uh, disease free fruit tree. So let's take a look at the about the back. So here they just said maturity in fall. So to be honest, right now you can see some fruit, jujube fruit on the tree. It's going to ripen in September, kind of I have to wait one more month. The space eight feet, you know, the wide. Actually, you know, the jujube fruit tree is kind of cold hardy. So basically, I'm from China, actually. Jujube tree is also called Chinese date. It's native to China. So basically, most of this kind of tree is, they grow in the north part of China. It's kind of relatively cold, 
but actually this tree is also can grow in some warm you know area because it is very low you know chair hours so basically we live in los angeles in southern california the usda hardness zoom is 10b so basically this kind of you know the jujube tree can do very well in our area don't worry about it they said a weekly water the plant more often until root established i just mentioned you know actually a little bit of concern about this container because actually the root system might not established in this you know the container so actually you know the soil is kind of pretty dry fortunately this kind of fruit tree is drought tolerant so that's good news for this kind of tree so here this is just a general you know guideline how to you know transplant this kind of fruit tree okay let's take a quick look at this fruit tree so basically you can see some small leaves and definitely you can see some you know fruits actually to be honest one month ago when i purchased this fruit tree in home depot garden center there's a several you know fruit tree they all same variety lead you to be fruit tree I just choose this, you know, fruit tree because that time I can see a lot of, you know, small flowers and uh, small fruits. So that's why I choose this, you know, the fruit tree. Okay, actually, Li Jujube is the best variety, I think, compared with some other varieties and species because the fruit is the largest compared with some other varieties. So basically, you can take a look at the fruit. It's kind of like a oblong. Actually, it is like a round or, you know, oblong shaped. The fruit size is pretty decent. It's largest, you know, the fruit compared with some other variety. And the flowers is pretty small. It's kind of like a white or yellow. Here you can see small one is already dried out, you know, here, right here at the bottom. So basically, jujube fruit tree is self-pollinating because each flower that contains male part and a female part and also the jujube fruit tree is fruitful or just a self-fertile you know fruit tree that means you do not have to plant another different variety of jujube fruit tree nearby they still can get fruits but if you grow some other you know different variety of jujube fruit tree nearby definitely you can get bigger and more fruits. Okay, just as I mentioned, actually, Li Juju B is the best variety. I think so. Actually, based on the website, most people also think Li Juju B is the best variety based on the, you know the flavor and the size of fruit. So basically, right now it's still small. I think I have to wait one more month to get all these fruits to ripen. So when the fruits are ripe. They're going to change the color from green to kind of reddish brown, you know, the color on the skin. So basically, Li Jujube, you know, the fruit tastes really, really good. Actually, compared with, uh, you know, some other, you know, varieties, it is pretty sweet, you know, crunch, crisp, just like you bite a crisp apple. Li Jujube, you can eat freshly. And also you can just leave these fruits on the tree or just harvest when they are ripe and store at room temperature. They are going to dry out and kind of like wrinkle the fruits. Okay, here I have one bag of dried, you know, the jujube. So just as I mentioned earlier, so basically jujube also called Chinese date. So basically this is native to China, pretty common and popular in China. I can guarantee if you just shop in every grocery store in China, you can definitely find this kind of dried jujube called Chinese date. And also you can buy some like a fresh jujube fruit on the farmer's market, whatever you know. So let's take one, you know, let you take a look at this kind of like a dried, you know, Chinese date. You can see here, right? It's kind of like oblong. I don't know what kind of variety this kind of, you know, Chinese states is from. But if you smell, I can smell 
kind of very sweet. To be honest, when it is dried, it's kind of become more sweeter. So it's very chewy. So basically, this is called Chinese date. You can see the wrinkled on the skin. So if you compare it with, you know, the fresh jujube fruit, so basically, if it, if it's dried out, it's definitely the size, you know, change to small size. But fortunately, this new jujube is big fruit size. Hopefully, they can grow big and bigger. I still have one month to wait. Before I wrap up for today's video, I'd like to quickly mention you two things. One thing is, as you can see right here, this fruit tree right now bear a lot of, you know, jujube fruits. But some are big, some are small. So basically, I think some definitely, they are going to drop. You see, especially for some fruits, they already change color to kind of like a yellow or just a reddish brown. So this is one thing. Another thing I want to mention you is this one big concern for me right now, because I just mentioned, you know, basically this fruit tree is kind of, is not well established in this container. And also, you know, the fruit, you know, the soil in the container is kind of like a, you know, very poor. They cannot return a lot of water or just nutrients. So that's why I'm thinking about probably I'm going to report this fruit tree to another container, just amended with more nutrients. Okay, anyways, guys, if you like today's video, please give us a thumb up, like, share, give comments down below. Thanks for watching. See you next time. I'm going to update you guys later.